Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Michelle hanging out with probably one of the more popular guys in town right now because Randy is hooked up with the Iowa Cubs. And I'm going to let you know what is happening having a good run at too. the Iowa Cubs. Vice President, Assistant GM. And boy, oh boy, do we have an upcoming homestand that we want to make sure you know about because you guys are going to be here for a while. Yeah, we've, we've been gone for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's been over a week. They're finishing up in Memphis tonight. Okay. When we get home tomorrow, we've got 10 games in 10 days, including one doubleheader. Yeah, about that. So, so it's perfect. So the weather's finally warming up, so you stayed away well, it was uh, a little think, cool. Yeah, it's good timing. <laughs> for, for the first time in a long time, it appears that our timing with the weather has been. All right, let's get an, an update on the Iowa Cubs. So let us know uh, where, how they're doing, uh, what their latest run is. Doing really well. We had an eight-game winning streak. How about uh, that? Finishing up the last homestand into this road trip, swept Omaha. Uh, over the weekend, last weekend. We lost Tuesday afternoon in Memphis, but we won last night in extra innings. So we've won nine of our last 10. Uh, we've got the second best record in the Pacific Coast League. We're leading the division by five games. We haven't been in first place in a while, so this is really by exciting. By five this games? Yeah. Good momentum wow. coming back That is home. impressive. So the pitching, everything's been, been terrific. We've even moved some guys up and down and around, and, and nobody's missed a beat. Isn't that perfect? That's exactly what you want to happen, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's been great. This team's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, because that's the role of the Iowa Cubs is to get the players and groom them. Yeah, you know, we don't get to say when they go up, when mm -hmm. they stay, who plays, who doesn't play. That's all the Chicago Cubs discretion through our manager, Marty Peavy, who's a Chicago Cubs employee, not an Iowa Cubs employee. Wow. But, uh, yeah, but, it, you know, Carl Edwards Jr. has come back down and reset and gone back up. Ian Happ is still with us. Uh, Taylor Davis is probably coming back soon. Oh, really? Victor Caratini getting healthy. Uh, we get Mike, to stare at the camera when we talk about Taylor <laughs> Davis. Uh, yeah, Mike yeah. Montgomery just helped us win in Omaha, and he's back up and did a great job and got the win yesterday for Chicago. Awesome. So there's constantly guys that you see on TV and in person at Principal Park uh, playing for both of us. That is really cool. All right, let's talk about the, the homestand. Again, it starts tomorrow, folks, uh, on the 11th. Uh, what, what can we expect tomorrow? So tomorrow night we'll open with a 7:08 game. We've got pregame catch on the field and our bike to the ballpark uh, night. Uh, we do our, our bike to the ballpark every Sunday, but this is a special one. What's that? Uh, so you get uh, uh, for $15 a reserve grandstand ticket, a 20-ounce beer, and a bike light, a uh, new Iowa Cubs bike light that's oh, yeah. really cool. Wraps nice. around your handlebars, flashes, and, and things uh, like that. So that's at the Bike World Bike Gate. So go right there. You can buy your tickets and get all that now, stuff. Now, is that the gate closest to the to the, the river on the Grand Sand side? Closest to the Raccoon River on okay. the southeast uh, southwest corner of okay. the stadium. It's called, it used to be Gate D. Now it's the Bike World Bike Gate. Got it. Talk yeah. about how sure. the b parking your bikes and all that happens at the stadium. Yeah, so you, all, we have a, a ticket. Uh, station set up right at the bike gate. So if you're on your bicycle, you come to the bike gate just past the main entrance and that green awning door. You can buy your ticket there. Any game, it's a $5 general admission ticket when you ride your bike and you've saved the $10 parking charge. If That's you have a true, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's a great deal, and, and we want people to do that as much as the weather and, and their legs will allow. Now, you also have a sporting uh, goods a fundraiser a go, a drive going on, Opportunity on Deck, which we've talked about on this program several times. Great organization. What's that all about? Yeah, we played in that game together right, last exactly. September. Right, exactly, and I'm still Park. feeling it. Uh, <laughs> my, calves, my, my hamstrings are still feeling it. So we're going to be hosting that game for them. It's a, it's a great local organization. Uh, Dylan that runs it uh, is a former video intern of ours at the ballpark so if you bring a, an unused sporting good a minimum value of ten dollars you get a free ticket into the game uh, tomorrow night as well and you're helping a, a good cause that and helping awesome. kids uh, be active in whatever sport it is it doesn't have to be baseball okay equipment. that's good to know how about yeah. that all right so uh, that's uh, t that's coming up tomorrow that's saturday what about mom's mother's day? day mother's day so uh, we've got our usual sunday activity kids run the bases and moms get to run the bases with the kids oh really after the cool game too. Uh, on Sunday Go afternoon, moms. so uh, uh, that's going to be uh, really cool. All right, and uh, we also have the pedal to the park is going to be happening yeah, so, then too. Uh, yeah, so bike to the ballpark. We've got the uh, there's the two levels. Same. Uh, Opportunity is tomorrow night with the beer and the bike light, or you can get a general admission ticket and just the light for nine dollars, uh, or no, a reserve ticket and the bike light for just nine dollars. Got it. Uh, on on Sundays, we've got the food pantry drive. Bring three uh, food uh, canned food items for the D Mark food pantry, and you get a free general admission ticket in, into the game. Uh, is and that for the, any game, or is that just those, for this? That's every Sunday. Every, every Sunday. Sunday. Every that's Sunday. a Sunday okay. staple, then, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Sunday staple. Okay, because Sunday's a big family uh, food days, you know, mm -hmm. for dinner days. It was perfect timing. It makes sense. 
sense to have it on Sundays. And it's it's really neat. Uh, many of our season ticket holders even bring canned goods. They don't That's need awesome. the ticket into the game, and the, and they drop it off. We were, we were able to raise a lot of food, uh, a, a lot of awareness, and and collect a lot of donations for the food pantry every Sunday. All right. Now Monday, you guys are playing Omaha, right? Yes. Yeah, so we've got day games then Monday and Tuesday. 12:08 starts uh, to wrap up the first series against Omaha, and the weather looks great. Right. We'll have some school kids out. It's character counts day on on Tuesday. Oh, That's a yeah. lot of energy. Uh, you know, but those uh, end of school year field trips. Yeah. And, and, and maybe if you have a last minute thing here, maybe if you have a school group uh, and you want to get the school group in, you can still do that, right? Yeah, there's still school, school tickets available. You just we've got a special school rate. Uh, oh, really? For, uh, for kids to come. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. And, okay, and then uh, on Wednesday, you guys are taking a breather? Yeah, okay. So Wednesday, we, we take get a, a regroup. Day off, okay. Re regroup, okay. reset, because we're going to dive into six games in five days against New Orleans starting next Thursday. Yeah, and Thursday, you're doubling up. So, doubleheader uh, next Thursday. So, 438 first pitch. Gates will open up at 338. It's our mug club night uh, at the ballpark. Uh, and two games for the price of one. It's not split. You come, your ticket's good for both games. Hang on there, and baseball cards involved too. Yeah, we're giving away, uh, oh, we've got uh, mini sets. It's a first of a series. So Ian Happ, Matt Swarmer, Trent Dream, Boney uh, are all, Duncan Robinson, Dakota Meckes are the first five, and then we'll do a series of these that Coke is sponsoring over the course of the summer. Really? That's Different cool. Different from the regular team set. They've got more personal fun information on the back rather than just stats. Nice. And a, a cool way for us to let you get to know the players a little bit and have something extra to, to have. That is perfect. Yeah, Isn't that, that cool? Makes it fun. Okay, mm -hmm. and let's move over to Friday. We know what happens on Fridays. Fireworks. Fireworks. Uh, on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got lots of things going on. We've got lots of groups at the ballpark. We've got some uh, special interactions to see. We're going to have a race car on display with uh, Operation Middle Ground mm -hmm. uh, outside the gate. They're bringing characters called the Misfits to the game. Uh, so no charge. They're superhero characters uh, that will roam, roam around. We'll have them set up for pictures with the kids, and that'll be a lot of fun. That's cool. All right, and then on uh, Saturday, uh, you'll be p playing New Orleans. Yeah, and we're going to start early because this is a really special day. So first pitch is at 438, but it's not a doubleheader. Gates are going to open up at 3 because we're going to play our normal game and then we're for showing Field of Dreams on the video board after the game. Are you serious? Oh, Watching nice. Field of Dreams over at the ballpark. So uh, you can bring a blanket and go sit in the outfield grass. Oh, would That's that be cool? Yeah. Or what? what a cool experience. Oh, my gosh. So we'll, we'll have popcorn specials uh, for the movie, uh, and you can go down on the field, or you can stay in your seats. Mm -hmm. uh, we won't allow you to bring chairs into the game, and uh, we got to keep the field in good condition. Right, we'll, right. Uh, you know, blankets are oh, just going to sit on the grass. Oh, that sounds so cool. And for yeah. the 30th anniversary of uh, the release of the movie Field of Dreams, we're going to celebrate that in our own Field of Dreams at Principal Park. That is perfect. All right, and then Sunday, 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 we're talking the 19th now. Yeah, then we're uh, getting into lots more big stuff. We've got uh, all of our Sunday staples uh, going on uh, that day, too. We've got the food uh, drive, the, food drive, drive. the bike to the ballpark, kids run the bases after the game. Uh, and then we've got uh, Monday, and we, we've gone through that. And then the team's gone for almost two weeks. We're, we're not back till June the 4th. So this okay. homestand, the forecast looks great, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, we're looking forward to packing a whole lot of stuff in into this whole yeah, week. Yeah, and then a week from Sunday, I want to talk about the Little Tykes T-ball. Oh, Little Tykes T-ball. Make sure we talk about that because that's a lot of fun to watch. We're opening up the gates early, uh, 1045 that day. Oh, wow, that gonna, is early. We're going to have two double headers of T-ball games <laughs> in each corner cool. in, the, in the outfield grass. We've invited, so there's eight teams participating, representing eight different parks and recs organizations around the community. Uh, Ankeny, Urbandale, Grimes, Des Moines, Johnston, the whole bit. So every two teams, every kid gets to bat. Well, every kid will score. <laughs> we'll switch sides. We'll do it again. Then we'll switch and we'll bring four more teams on. So uh, from 11 oh, uh, yeah. for, for about an hour, from 11:15 to 12:15, we'll have t-ball going on in the outfield yeah uh, it is just so much fun yeah, you guys are going to be hopping over there for it's, the next we've, week we've, and a half. we've jammed a lot in and we're looking forward to it if you haven't been to principal park for a while this is your excuse let's get back out there make it a regular routine uh, for this spring and this summer because uh, it's not just a game it's an event it, it is an event perfect <laughs> good to see you buddy thank you thanks thank for you. having me there you have it folks iowa cubs back in town starting tomorrow night don't miss them it is